love this man. It's not about losing one's sense of self. It's about, you know, discovering someone that allows you to shine and be the butterfly that you're always meant to be. <laughs> yeah, watch your step. Know. And that's it for Matt. We don't have him anymore. Oh, fix! We can't teach us! Healthy. Healthy. 100%. Completely playing dead. You got wrong way! Oh man, we got a surprise cold front that came into town and I had to wrangle everybody up. So today we're getting everybody out and you're coming along for the ride. And uh, I've got some errands to do, so might as well hang out with me while I do it. You know, not everything is, uh, you know, always the most uh, star-studded event. But then again, that's not true because Timmy's a star. Check out little Timmy. He's been hanging out inside for the last day and a half because we went down into the very low 50s and that's just too cold for the Aldabra tortoises. So I pull them on up. We've got some radiated tortoises making their way out. I came out, to be perfectly honest, before Matt got here and I started getting some things done because you know what? The camp waits for no one. And uh, let me go grab uh, Boba and Cersei. The water turtles did good. Our water temperatures, because it was a quick cold front, they stayed in the 70s overnight, so that's fantastic. It didn't get to the point where I had to bring in water turtles or anything like that. Look at Boba. How cool is this, Matt? This guy's getting big, dude, and heavy. I'm gonna actually just let him out here. Oh, Kate's gonna be happy to see these guys back outside because she's been on vacation. It's spring break for her. She's a school teacher. And uh, as soon as you put them in, look at the look at the hay. As soon as you put them in, they start peeing and it doesn't smell very good in the old house. You know what I mean? But uh, shout out to the lovely wife. Because these are our children and they need to be taken care of. She's hiding right now. She's hiding in the room because, you know, it is her spring break. So she's chilling out. Oh, baby, there she is, my girl. Oh, I love this tortoise. Cersei is getting huge. And Cersei and Timmy are really, really friendly, guys. They have um, really warmed up to me. Bulba, not yet, but it's coming. But it's amazing that you can have such a small Aldabra. Usually these guys are always skittish and um, they'll just start running away from you at this size. But Timmy, whenever I come out here, starts walking over. It's pretty cool. I love it. All right, you guys are out. Do your thing. Enjoy the warm weather. It's going up to 80 degrees today. Let's shut the door. I'm gonna pull out this... Um, Oh, you know what I want to show you stuff? Check this out. These guys have been inside for a while, but uh, we're going to get that camera way down in the middle of that Redfoot tortoise bedlam. Look at that. Everyone's eating. They just had a nice soak. They're hanging out here. It's pretty awesome. So uh, tortoises are extremely happy. We might have a couple of Redfoots and cherry heads, people. Uh, very, very good stuff here. So you know what to do. You guys can email me at kenanh1 at comcast.net if you're interested. Uh, but by the way, there's a, even another little gem, two of them really. Yeah, let's just do that right over in the corner. Turn around, 180 degrees, come up. Not nah, come up here, look, look, I want you to look right there. Oh, oh there's a lizard. That is one of the little blue iguanas. Let me see if I could grab it. I got it, pretty cool. Look at that guy. They're getting big too, these little dudes are hanging out. They're gonna be ready to go outside soon because they're getting large enough to where they can't fit through the wiring that I use, so, uh, my first ever hatch of blue iguanas from those lunatics that we'll see here in a little bit because we gotta let them out. All right, let's put this one back. There you go, little dude. He lives in there. There's another one with the little red foot. So, okay, we're going out. We're getting out. We're taking the pee. The pee. The pee is done. Ah, I love to sing. Yes. Smell that fresh air? Do you guys have smell vision where you're at? I'm not sure. But anyway, I want to get some things done. I want to get the yard back to normal. We've got radiated tortoises making their way out of their overwintering abode, their heated shelter. Um, I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to fold up this blanket. I keep some old blankets on hand. As you can see, I love mermaids. They're cute, you know, got turtles and tortoises. <laughs> they love mermaids. Turns out so do stepdaughters. But uh, this is an old blankie, so let's go ahead and fold it up nice. And all I do, since it is a blanket, 
a dirt blanket. It just lives back there, and that's that. Let's move along. Oh, you know what we gotta do? We gotta let the big tortoises out, but I need my screw gun to do that. Are you getting wet by any chance? Are you slipping and sliding, bro? Are you okay? We're you good. all right, dude? We're good. All right, we're gonna come back and let the um, out. Look at Timmy go. This is high speed tortoise right there, high speed. We're gonna come back and let the big tortoises out. But before we do that, let's let all the other critters out of their homes where they've been kind of locked up for the last day and a half. Two nights where it went down into the low 50s. That's just too cold, man. Can't let it happen. So let's get these cherry heads out. You saw some of the babies of these guys just a moment ago. I'm sure I'm going to have to do a little cleaning inside their... Uh, you, you'll see what I mean. Whenever you lock the tortoises up, they make the poofies. Hi guys. So I gotta spray this out, but they're looking none the worse for wear. We're gonna spray them off too, cause they got little poops on them. So I've got a lot of work to do. Come on, let's keep going. Now I wanna just check on my rhinos. These guys actually are out. I left their door open. Just wanna check, yep. There's the male, there is Petro. Petra is out soaking up the sun. We'll be getting more babies from them very soon. Uh, well, not very soon. I guess in a couple of months, they'll start breeding and doing what they've got to do. I love this, man. Ah, let's go in here. We're gonna open a door. Let's go see Buttercup. How you doing, Matt? Matt I, I get Matt over here, and Matt is getting faster and faster running backwards, friends. It's amazing. I always feel bad, because he's uh, so hyper fanatic going backwards, I don't know if he's miserable. Uh-oh, look at this. This door was open. Son of a gun, that's a pain in the neck. I don't know why it does that. Sucks. But she's okay, let's see. She's underneath the heat lamps. She looks good. Hi, sweetie. There is Princess Buttercup. Hey, girl. Hey, lady. There's our 13-foot albino Burmese python. We just got done uh, filling out all the paperwork to renew uh, her permit so I can continue to keep her and uh, show you guys the awesomeness that is Princess Buttercup. I hurt my back the other day, so I gotta be very careful when moving tortoises at the moment. Oh, easy, guys, easy. Oh, one stuck. There we go. Luckily, it's harder work. It's harder work bringing all these tortoises in. There's 30 redfoot tortoises, and each one I bring in alone by hand into this little kind of holding pen as it is. But it's easy to just let them out. They're all going to start walking out and enjoying that stuff. So we're rolling. Well, I got to keep a mental note. What else do I need to do? Screw gun. I also want to get my my leaf blower because we're going to fill up the big tortoises, the glops. Uh, what is it called? Water bowl. <laughs> I'm not thinking too much right now. Everything's or, dry these days. Oh, it's so dry, man. We the haven't had a lot of like, rain. Not gotta be fun. eight, what, six feet down? Oh yeah. The pot, like wait till you guys wait till you guys see the alligator enclosure. I might as well turn on the uh the well on for that as well. It? Uh in here we have a lizard, an Argus monitor. He's probably hiding in there. We have all tons of ants. Look at these ants all over me. All these sugar ants here. I, I'm, uh, this is not a pleasant feeling. I want to get this out of here, and you're going to want to stand up because you're going to get these sugar ants all over you. Right. I don't like the icky feeling. I, that, that just drives me nuts, all those ants on me. I don't like sugar ants. They don't bite you or anything, but they are somewhat annoying, okay? Surprised we haven't seen her yet. Well, no, he's in there. Yeah. Uh, last night, I did come out, and I checked all the animals, and he was underneath the little heater, the little fluker heat pad. He was underneath it. That's where he was. Hi, I'm right here. Um, so, it, come here, actually. Listen, listen to the Doors this. closed. Uh, doors closed? Yeah. Come on, give me this. We're gonna go in here and listen, guys. I want you guys to listen. Wait a minute. He's under that? He was. As of this morning. Here, grab this again. Yep, yep, yep. Let me see. Oh, I gotta get down and dirty. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you hear him. I can hear him. You hear him? That's what I was trying to... Oh man, there's ants everywhere up there. Yeah, there's so many ants. It is just because they, they like the heat as well. They ain't stupid. Them animals ain't stupid, you hear me? So he's fine, obviously. We're gonna go inside this enclosure. This is very up this close like and Tetris, personal. Human Tetris. Exactly. Thing. A little closer than Matt wants to get to me. I am something of a biohazard. <laughs> okay. Is that pond bigger? Uh, it's cleaner. I uh, drained it out and I sucked out some of the gack and I don't know, it's pretty good. Here we go. Hello kids. So really happy about the fact that Guapo, who's laying in there on the heat. Oh, there they are. Look, these two are getting along much, much better. Here, let me put a little more light 
Fire actually was good though. Is the light good? Yeah. Really? Is that there good? we go. Oh, so, so we've got a water block in here too? Yeah, I put okay. I put one of those blocks in there just so that so. these guys have visual barriers, but they seem to be uh, getting along nicely. Yeah, look at them right there. Yeah, they're kissing each other? Yep. All right, very good. Uh, we're shutting these. Which one is in the tube here? Uh, that is Guapo. Guapo's tail. Right yeah, he's there. a big boy. So it seems like, you know, you give them visual barriers and they just make use of them and no more drama. For those of you who have been following the channel for a while, Guapo and Lola uh, fell out of love, as it were, and um, they kind of uh, annoy each other. So we are making sure that we can reacquaint them through some couples therapy that I've been implementing. And that basically means adding visual barriers, making sure they have their own separate food bowls, and it's been working. I'm happy to say that through intensive therapy, these guys are getting closer and closer together, which is nice. You gotta work at relationships. Okay, anyway, we're moving. It's we're important moving. for the individual to remain individual. Exactly, you know, it's, it's, it's not about losing one's sense of self. It's about, you know, discovering someone that allows you to shine and be the butterfly that you're always meant to be. <laughs> anyway. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to a lot of psychiatry. Yeah. Not psychiatry, that's the one where you take pills. Psychologist. Psychologist. Hey girl, hey lady. <laughs> She's doing good. She was just hanging out in here. We got some carpenter ants living down below though. Look at this, look at these carpenter ants. Um, they can't really hurt her, but I don't like carpenter ants. They eat wood. Anyway. Hi girl. As long I'm as not... they don't eat the fake wood. Yeah, that is funny. They can't. <laughs> um, but you know, I am gonna just let her do her thing and uh, that's my inky. So, like I said, I was out here Late last night, making sure everyone was where they're supposed to be. It's always a little, um, I guess, stressful, you know, just making sure the animals are okay. Like I literally went to sleep, laid down in bed, was already in my little undies, ready to go to bed. And I thought, I gotta check everyone and make sure everyone's in there. Up, oh, get dressed, back outside. But you know, if you love your animals, you'll do it. They are our children here. <gasps> Somebody wants to come out, that female right there. She's looking good. There is the mama of the little baby we just saw. I don't have a name for her. I think I was calling her Hunter, named after one of my friend's uh, daughters in um, Australia, or Mackenzie. I can't remember. I'm horrible with names. But uh, my friends at Wild Conservation, uh, they're really fun out there in, the, uh, in Australia. And um, I want to get back out there one day. It's just that flight is really long. But anyway, there she is. Um, she is a first time mom last year. I'm sure she'll lay more eggs and she's really cool. Uh, they're, they're a little bit skittish as you can just see that. Uh, again, I like to fold. I don't know, some of you uh, domestic uh, experts. Is there still home economics? The kids have that, is that what it's called? There used to be when I was, I'm a million years old and I used to have a thing called home ec. Let's look in here, there's the male. All right, so he's pretty awesome lizard. So these guys are young adults. Um, she is a young mother, but uh, she gets a job. And as she grows, more of her eggs will become fertile and she'll produce more follicles and therefore more eggs. And so there are those guys, but we're not done yet. Because we've got a couple more uh, critters that need to be allowed out of their heated shelters. Oh, look, they come right out for that sun. Very, very cool. Hi, lady, are you in a good mood today? Oh, it's so good to see you. I love you so much. She's so beautiful. Solid, too. This is how you check your, this is actually not a scientific way to check the health of your animal, but yeah. Healthy. Healthy. 100% healthy. Dusty. <laughs> see all the dust? You can see that. I love him. Isn't that a cool lizard? Mm -hmm. I've had him since 2004, man. He's just quality. the baddest. Both of them, actually. Ah, it's He's nice. Just... It's nice to just take a moment and breathe in the uh, dust off of your reptile. The dried lizard poop. The dried lizard poop that's now giving me uh, some kind of hanter virus. I don't know. I'm just kidding. You get that from rodents, uh, which unfortunately we have. Watch your head. Good job. Okay. We're still moving. I'm just on like a verbal freestyle right now. I think Matt, I drive you crazy, don't I, with the way I film. No it's comment. Just, no comment. Yeah, watch as your step. Don't you put on. Back yeah, there's there's freaking machete. Yeah. He's going to fall and pale himself, and that's it for Matt. We don't have him anymore, and there's no workers' comp at this house. All right. So, yeah, what did I want to show you? 
We're gonna get over there in a moment. Um, we're gonna check on the croc monitors. They've been locked up for a while. Um, it's They've been doing well. We've been building this trust and then it gets cold and I, the male doesn't go in on his own. So I have to put hands on him using those welding gloves. He's not thrilled about that, but you know what? It's for his own good. I can't take the chance uh, of him getting stuck outside. These are a species that never encounter cold like we have here. So we gotta make sure they're all right. Come on in. I love this though. The jungle floor here is looking good. Hello kids. Don't come running out and killing us. There they are. There they are. Let me just check something. Very nice. Very nice and warm. They look good. That's just fantastic. Yeah. Friggin' fantastic. Loving it. Not totally spooked by us. No, not at all. Oh, what am I doing? I'm shutting it again. Durr. I'm gonna leave that open. Let them come out, enjoy the nice weather that we're having here. I mean, this is... Look down. Hey, look at what you're doing, guy. Hater guy. Wrapped up in a hose. He's, walking yeah. backwards. I know. I mean, you don't want to do that in the alligator enclosure, that's for sure. But then again, I don't have any hoses rolling in there. We're going to turn on that... Um, we're going to turn on that water, though, as well. Let's see. Slinky uh, was in, but he's allowed to walk out. I knew he wouldn't do it in the middle of the night. He's been... Yeah, I think he's learned his lesson from the last time. Slinky! Slinky! Are you out? Slinky! Look at how clear and beautiful the water is. And look, remember trying to get the fish? Look at how many fish that are still in there, man. That is awesome. So we got this really cool feeder for cichlids. So once it gets a little bit more um, filled up, I'll go ahead and grab these guys out. Hey, look at this. There's a basilisk trying to get out. Let me see if I can catch it. Look, I heard Slinky's coming out too. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Slinky. Hey, Jesus Christ, it's my feet, Slinky. Jesus. He's a little excited. Come here, look at this, guys. Got it. Look at this, guys. We got a male brown basilisk. Oh, Jesus. Come here, Slinky. <laughs> Don't eat the lizard. They're my shoes, man. See how excited he got? Very. Yeah, well, I don't want him to get excited about this basilisk. I'm going to stay out of the tail whipping yeah, so territory here. He's ready to eat. I guess it's nice and warm in his place. See, these are not, see, he hasn't seen these shoes in a while. These are my feet, you dingbat. But he never opened his mouth. Never opened his mouth. I don't want to get too close with this lizard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check there it out, go. guys. Let's come on over here. This is awesome. Uh, these are an invasive species here in Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, he was trying to get out. He must have been a little baby and has grown up in here and has evaded the capture of uh, the slinks. But this is kind of pretty. Look at this. This is a male because they have this beautiful fin and he's playing dead right now. Oh, look really? at this. Is that yeah. what he's doing? Yeah, he's he just kind of... Stiff as a board. He's stiff as a board. He's nervous. Yeah, it's all right. And it looks like he has been trying to get out because he looks a little rubbed there. Like but he's that... been rubbing against the water. Exactly. There. So this is a brown basilisk. This is the Jesus lizard. And this is the lizard that can run on the surface of the water. And what makes that so amazing is on his feet, there aren't any special adaptions to allow him to do that. All he does is he hauls butt with these hind legs. Got that long tail. This is an, in the family Iguanidae. So it is an Iguanid lizard. And uh, it is not an iguana, but it is in that family. Uh, it is insectivore. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? How cool is that? I can't believe it. it's playing dead for yeah, us right now. Yeah, this is uh, tonic immobility. Um, I mean, he's just, I figure, oh, if I play dead, maybe it'll lose interest in me, kind of like a cat would. That wouldn't work for Slinky because Slinky actually eats dead animals. Come on over here. Just honorable mention, let's just take a moment and enjoy this fern. Let's take a moment. That's pretty cool fern, isn't it? Well, the entire enclosure. Just, yeah, I mean, this. it's amazing. Shout out to my friends at Aquascape and Universal Rocks for really pulling together and making this place awesome. And uh, of course, to my buddy Jerry Wolf of Wolf's World. Give him a chat. Check him out on the YouTube, Wolf's Wild World. Um, he helped me build this, so good friend. We're going to put this guy, uh, maybe he'll take a walk with us because we can see, see if he'll... Yeah, there you go. Give it, give it a good shot. Yeah, there you go, mate. Yeah, righty. Shut it. We'll see you later, Slinky. See you, Slinks. This lizard's still playing dead. He's just kind of like, what is going on? What is happening to me? Good old Lulu is able to come out when she wants. We, of course, have dogs barking, as always. She's in her box. That's fine. We know what Lulu does, but I wanted to show you this. Look at how 
dry the alligator enclosure has gotten. Check it out. What do you guys think of that? Pretty nuts, huh? You guys want to go wander through there? I think so. I think we need to. Uh, let's. We'll go from one end to the other and just see what happens. Considering um, walk from one end to the other at this point. Yeah, I think you could, yeah. So we're going to do that. going to open this like so. We'll probably let this guy go soon. Uh, oh, look, Snaggy's on the other end. He's on the other side up in the uh, sunbathing. Oh, look, there's another basilisk just walked through. Yep. Cool. So he's got buddies. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to shut this. I'm going to do that like this. All right. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? What are you doing? This guy is crazy. Get the hell up here. <laughs> look what he's doing. Hey, Matt, Matt. <sighs> this guy. Bad. Bad. Which way are we going? We're going that way, buddy. We're going to go that way and walk around. Um, we got our little mascot. He's hanging with us. Uh, be careful now. Listen to me. There's there's cypress knees and stuff. So don't don't you go dying on me now. Um, that's from Dumb and Dumb. I'll be right back. Don't you go dying on me. Anyway, how cool is this, eh? I'm not Canadian, but I just did say, hey. Hey, look at this. It's gator poop. Look right down there. What's that? It's gator poop. Wow. Look at this. Okay. Well, that's all that's left of That's the all that's left. We're going to start turning on the well. We're going to also clean off my... There we go. I was ready for someone to just take a nap on, much like the alligators are. Let's Wasn't go there see a skeleton on this at one point? No, not yet, but that's something I am thinking of doing, uh, having a nice skeleton laying on that. Anyway, we've got a, not, a nice amount of urates and fecal matter from our alligator friends. Now we can walk down because we know the gators are over there. So yeah, now many of you might be saying, oh my God, Kenan, you're horrible. What are you doing? There's not enough water. Actually guys, this is alligator habitat. This is what it looks like out in a lot of the wetlands right now. And what you see are little puddles like this and they're called gator holes. The gators make them, they keep water in them by digging down. You can see, look at the topography of the bottom here. It, really gets down low and he's just scooping out mud look at all the fish you see that yep. there's fish jumping basically what happens is all the fish congregate in those holes the alligator gets free food and they get to lot to live a lot longer than they would have had nothing uh been digging because he's digging down to the water table so i will give them some help we've got some um well water that i can run into here um snaggletooth likes when i do that he likes to come over and he lays by it he gets some fresh water just like when the rains start coming in they get excited about that too and it's going to trigger their breeding that's the hope anyway meanwhile he's still here let's go come on kids there he is our big 12 foot behemoth the snaggletooth such a cool animal man i love him uh he's a big boy let's get on over here i feel pretty secure just walking hey buddy you just be careful uh and of course be ready to move because he has been laying in the sun for an hour or two so that body is warming up right now after a cold night um in those osteoderms those hard bony plates covered by skin their free floating bone he's got a lot of blood vessels and what happens is the blood vessels travel through there. It's like a solar panel, exactly like a solar panel. Um, so instead of water running through a solar panel, it's blood moving through the osteoderms and that's heating up his body. He's just circulating, he's getting warm. He's gonna get himself to a nice operating temperature for the day. And then he's gonna head back into his little gator hole. But we're gonna help that gator hole out because we're gonna pump it full of more water. Uh, awesome. All right, let's go. Careful, man, you just, you're, you're just brazen. Raising lunatic. All right, we're gonna see if we can get out of here. Oh, you know what? Very difficult to do because of the way that is. Hold on. Hey! I think we can get out. Good thing there's nothing chasing us at the moment. Good thing there isn't a gator right there. Yeah, good thing there's not a 12 foot alligator behind us. <laughs> it looks so low. Yeah, see, it's low, but that's the water table. So it's not like too dangerous or too deadly love. I originally wanted to put the alligators in there. How cool would that have been if we had alligators in there? But because it's not 35 foot off my property line, I couldn't legally have alligators there. Oh well, what you gonna do? Let's see. Ah, oh, they're stepping on fire ants. Let's go over here though and see if we can get this guy to uh, run on the water. I'm not sure if he will, but 
It's worth a shot. I think you guys might dig it. I've tried this before. How might you try to do that? Well, we'll just put them near the water and scare them. Hopefully, it'll just start running. Come on down here. By the way, I'm ready for an impromptu gator snapper dive if you oh, feel yeah, up course. to it. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, if there is one. All right, so this guy's still kind of chilling. Look at this. Look at this guy. Completely playing dead. Completely playing dead. Oh, yep. you're going the wrong way. Going <laughs> <laughs> he just took off. It never never worked with kids. Very quick. Very, very quick. fast, though, you see. He just decided, I'm not going in that water. I'm going the other way. Turtle. All right, guys. Oh, let's go get that screw gun and let out our big monsters. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. Here's our beach that we built and absolutely nothing has happened this year. No eggs at all from our Badiger Affinis. Kind of a bummer, but uh, at least she knows it's there for next year if she decides to breed. Yeah, everyone's good. Cichlids are doing well. Haven't seen any uh, birds and uh, everyone's good. I was out here last night, water temperatures maintained. So we're all right, we're good, okay. Look at how fast these redfoots are too, by the way. Look at this, there's Lego. Look at her, she's already way over here. Look at that, look at that lunatic. No mobility problems with that little MBD right. critter. Oh my gosh, metabolic bone disease, that's why she's so bumpy. She came to me sight unseen as a healthy tortoise. Yeah. Oh well, well uh, she's doing right. good though. Oh, she's doing great. We love her. Uh, so I just need to get a, oh, there's a raspy rodent. I do have some other rodents that are currently um, dead, getting ready to be frozen. So what we need is a proper bit. Let's go get it out. Let me see, do I have, this is another tool I like to use when doing the, uh, yeah, I just gotta fill this up before I uh, get the leaf. Okay, so I got my leaf blower and we're gonna go ahead and just clean out the watering hole for the Galops and the Aldabra. Uh, I'm gonna do that before I actually put them out or let them out. What I did was I just kind of boarded them up inside their home. Uh, so, you know, there's that. This is fun, this is fun stuff. Keep this thing Now I'm gonna just go get the hose, fill this up, and let the tortoises out. I'll be right back. Water's going. Let's do this. Let's get these kids out of here. So tired of being cooped up. They're ready to go. Uh oh, I see somebody trying to get out right here. Yeah. Not sure who it is, but if I don't act quickly, they're gonna break right through. Yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> almost ready, kid. I see an arm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Socrates! The best. Oh, you're not gonna wait for me, are you? Nope, not at all. Good grief. Come on, Socks. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody wants out. Let's see if she can. Oh. It's so funny to see how strong they are, because like, oh, I had no idea. They're totally... Uh, they're so steadfast and powerful, and that's a lethal combination, right? Determination and strength. It's a good, it's a good metaphor for all of us. No, no, here, I got fresh water. Come here, she wants, I was giving them water in that. Come on, look, let's show her. Let's see if she'll come out and get a little drinky drink. Come on. Come on, come on. Isn't that funny? Come on! She hears it. Yep, she, she hears sees it. She's it. trying to drink it from the... Come on, baby! Yeah, they're thirsty. How cool is that, though? That's so crazy. She's drinking it as it comes down the wall. Right, wall-off. and what you guys need to know, uh, if you have tortoises that are kind of... Some people are like, man, my tortoises don't drink, and, you know, I get worried about them. The best thing you can do is set up... Here comes Darwin. Twice the size. Yep. The best thing to do is actually suspend the hose in the air. And when it falls, it creates ripples on the puddles, which interests the turtles because most of the time, the tortoises rather, um, only drink when it rains. So that agitated surface 
is what really gets them stimulated to drink. And here she goes. Look at this. Pretty good. Now we're going to try and get Darwin up here too. Come on, girl. Come on. So easily up and over this wall. Yep. That I would never expect. And you know, uh, you weren't here for this uh, in the beginning of the Camp Kennan uh, experiment, but our very first episode was building this drinking area. And the reason I built it this way is because Galapagos tortoises need to kind of climb and stretch their legs out in order to have good posture. So we built it with that in mind. And of course, Socrates took to it very quickly, but it actually took a long, long time before Darwin was comfortable climbing up and over. And to be perfectly honest, it's only been maybe eight months. This was built in 2013, and eight months ago, she started to really use it. So sometimes tortoises take a long time to use a specific feature. But the good thing is, is we never gave up. Come here, kid. She wants some water too, but Socrates is not gonna budge out of that area. How cool, huh? She'll budge when she gets pushed. <laughs> Probably. Come on, get out of here. Ah, oh, they love the rain. Up oh, here comes Dom here comes Nostradamus. Yeah. Super cool, man. There's nothing like caring for these animals. Um, I love the fact that they're so happy. They have their own little idiosyncrasies, different personalities, likes and dislikes. And if you spend enough time with your animals, you'll pick up on those as well. So it's so important for days like today where you get out, you get the animals going again, you see how they're behaving. Did they do okay while they were locked up? because these are the times that animals can get stressed and get sick. So I'm happy for one to see, of course, all the animals coming out, super energetic, ready to start being turtles and tortoises again in the good weather. So we're gonna let this fill up. We're gonna keep on hanging out with these tortoises. And it looks like Darwin is making her way over to get a drink, slow and steady like. And I'm sure our friend Nostradamus will find his way over here again soon. All right, guys, you know what I'm about. Oh, don't mind if you push it right out of the way. Come on, Darwin. Come on, kid. How cool is that, huh? Dinosaurs. Total dinosaurs, Dinosaurs. Man. This one is so big. So yeah. much bigger than you. Oh, it's so cool, right? Look at this. And here she is, about ready to get her drink on. And he's drinking from there. Let me help him out. Watch this. I don't care where he drinks, as long as he drinks. All right, there you go. Everyone's happy. I'll probably give these guys a feed tomorrow once the temperatures stay. And uh, there you go, everybody. Another fun day here at the camp. I love getting my day started with uh, seeing the animals. It definitely puts me in a better mood for the rest of the day. What do you guys do? Do you visit your animals first thing? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you thought of today's video. I always enjoy sharing my day-to-day -day activities with you. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I look forward to seeing you guys on another video real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but only if you like it and feel like you want to subscribe. See you later.